Hi, Mrs. Buckley here with some quick research tips to help you get started with your research project. First of all, I was excited about this. The Who Would Win books are fun, and I wish you the best of luck as you start gathering evidence to prove that your animal would win the battle. So good luck. Remember, the more evidence you have and the stronger the evidence, the more likely you are to win. I also am excited because Jerry Pilata, the author of these books, is someone that uh, I have an assigned copy of one of his books from my childhood that my mom gave me. So that's pretty fun and exciting. So back to the research tips here. A great place to start would be the DNR, the Indiana Department of Natural Resources. If you go onto the link that your teachers have shared with you, you can find a list of all of the animals that you're, you are researching and you can go and click on it. So for example, if I'd like to know more about coyotes, I can click on the link here and it will give me some different information. This is a great starting point. Another great starting point would be World Book Online. You can access this through the portal or you can go to World Book Student. World Book Student is where I would definitely start. If it makes you log in, your username is Zville, Z-V-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and your password is Eagles, all lowercase. From here, I can go and search for my animal. I can click read more and I will find, oh, this is about um, a type of currency, money. So that's not quite what I need. So I'm gonna go over here and click on Eagle for the bird. And then I can find all sorts of information about the bird here. I like using World Book as a starting point. Also, I know it's reputable here. I love how they show me who the contributors are who made this information. Now, a few of your topics you cannot find, can't find on World Book Online. So if that's the case, uh, then I would go and do a Google search to search for other things. If you're researching reptile or amphibian, which are some of the ones I had trouble finding on World Book Online. A great source would be the Indiana Herp Atlas. If you go onto this website, you can scroll down and they have turtles. For those of you who are researching the alligator snapping turtle or the Blanding's turtle, they also have different snakes that are found around Indiana. So you can go here, I believe one Eastern hognose snake. So if I click on this link, it'll tell me where they're located in Indiana how you can identify them, what makes them unique. This is a great place to start. And once again, I love how it gives uh, the sources listed of where they got their information. This really helps you show how credible or reliable your source is. And this is connected with Purdue University, Fort Wayne. So boiler up there. Another great source if you are researching birds or uh, animals by land would be the Cornell Lab of ornitholo Ornitholology. Ooh, not a word I say every day. And I like this, it's sponsored through Cornell University. I've heard of them, sounds like it'd be a reputable source. To search for my information, I would click on the magnifying glass and then I can type in my bird here. So one of the birds I didn't know much about was the loggerhead shrike. I can type that in, click on that bird, and it, uh, I think it's kind of fun. It'll give me ID information about how to identify those. It will um, show me what they sound like. There's all sorts of information about their habitat, their food, where they live, their behavior. So I can scroll through here and get different, different information. Like for example, if I wanna know about their habitats, I can click and it will take me directly to that section about where their habitats are or what kind of food they eat. So this is a great one if you are researching birds. Another great one for those of you researching animals by flight would be audubon.org. And from there, same thing, you would go and find the magnifying glass and then you could type in your animal and search for it from here. So I'm searching for the barn owl, which I think is a pretty cool animal. And it's taking a moment. And then I would click on Barn Owl. And as I scroll down, I have all sorts of information about the Barn Owl that I can look at through here. So 
this is a great place, another great place to go if you're researching um, a bird. Another one is if you just have to go to Google or go to a different other search engine. And remember, uh, Google is a type of search engine that helps you find your source. And from here, I would start general and then I can narrow my topic down. For example, if I am researching the gray fox, I might type in gray fox to begin with. I might find some that look like they're going to be helpful. Uh, I don't have to click on the very first thing I see. I go to this website and I see, okay, PBS, I've heard of PBS. The information on here looks pretty good. If I decide I want to use it, I might go down here and just double check my source, New Hampshire PBS. So even though it doesn't look maybe the most professional, I've heard of PBS. I like when I go here about the different information it has. So it looks like one that I can trust as I'm doing my research. I can go back, see if there's other ones that might be helpful, but I'm finding Gray Fox Bluegrass Festival. That, that That's not gonna help me. I'm seeing other ones, this might be helpful, this one might be helpful. So I might click on these, but this one it's just Shutterstock, which is um, somewhere to go to get images. So I might go up here and try this one. University of Minnesota Duluth. So I, another one that's a .edu site, if I look up here at the URL, and if I find this useful, then I might decide to also re use this for my research. I can also go back and I might narrow my search down so I get better results. I might type in predator. This one is another .edu one. I might click on this one looks like I'm finding some great information. I love how they list their sources here as well, even though this one's from 1944. Just a little old there. Um, I might go back. I see other ones that I might decide to use here. This one looks like one that might be of interest that I could click on to see what I think. Here's one. Here's an example of one where I looked and it looked good when I first started looking at it, but then I noticed all these ads popping up, which isn't always terrible, but as I was also going through, I want to know, okay, who exactly made this website? And I'm really not finding much. Bio Expedition. And so maybe then I'm going, you know, I don't know if this is going to be my best source of information because I can't even really tell who's who's made this so was this someone doing this for a project um, I'm not sure and so I might decide okay I'm gonna find a different source there's lots more out there there's no need for me to have to use that one I might even try Gray Fox Indiana to find out more information this is the one the DNR website which we've already um, probably used but I might discover, okay, here's one um, from a college in Indiana. Uh, here's one through Purdue, Common Indiana Mammals. This one might be interesting. Wolf Park. So I might click on this one and see if there's information here that might be useful. Ooh, this actually could be another great source here. As I look, it has many of your different animals on here covered. For example, I see the bobcat, which I know is definitely on your list. And so I can start to look through here and it told me what pages different things are on. So this one actually ended up being pretty useful. There's one page about each of those animals listed in the table of contents. And so if I go back up here and I'm looking for the gray fox, number tw page 27, I could scroll down and look for that. I love how they include their sources of information as well. Oh, and always a great sign. So anyway, those are some quick tips. If you need some help with your research, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, you can reach me by email kbuckley at zcs.k12.in.us. I'd be happy to help you. All right, best of luck and may you come up with lots of evidence to support that your animal would win. Have a great day.